this is a continuation of the previous video where we were masking away um, the model's face, okay, the male model's face here. So I'm just going to move around in here and mask down here as well. I'm careful to make sure that I'm only masking his face and neck and not the, um, not the hoodie. So I'm just going to click X, go back and forth. Every time I click X, I can change whether I add or subtract X again. Now I'm adding back in here because this is the hoodie. There you go. And that should be good for now. So I'm just going to go over here and do a soft round so that the masking is has soft edges. Okay. Oh, X. You can see that is a bit blurry now. So it's now giving more softer edges. Here we go. As opposed to those hard edges. There we go. So the effect is just a little bit softer, which might be something that you want. All right, so now that I'm done, I'm going to go over to my move tool, okay? And I'm going to zoom out. There we go. So she's the wrong size, right? So I'm going to go click on the model face and click and drag her in. There we go. You can see that there is a big chunk that I accidentally missed here, but that's okay. Mate. And I'm going to make it a little bit just the right size so that she doesn't look strange in the hoodie. There we go. I think that's about the right size perhaps. And I go enter and that places her there. Now the other thing that's wrong is that she should be in black and white. So I click on the model face and I go to uh, image adjustments and black and white. There we go. And just okay. Good, now she's in black and white. I can change the contrast and darkness as well. And notice here I've accidentally taken off a chunk of the hoodie, so I can go back to the hoodie layer. But when I go back, notice that the picture is highlighted or selected. So I want to select the mask. Because if I select the picture and I start using my brush tool, I'm going to be coloring over my picture and not doing anything with the mask. So make sure that you click on the mask when you go to the layer. Okay. It makes a difference whether you're on the image or the mask. So I can't emphasize this enough. A lot of students click on the wrong thing and then they're drawing over their image. So make sure that you click on the mask. If you're masking, go to the brush tool. Just going to check if I have the white or the black. So the white is on top, so which means I can add. So I'm going to add. There we go. That looks good. And um, just to add even, you know, more things, make it look more realistic. I want to add a little bit of a shadow underneath the hoodie. So I'm going to go to the model face and then click a new layer there and call this shadow. I'm actually going to draw my own shadow. So I'm going to use a brush and then, you know, pick a dark color, like black, and then maybe I'll have opacity of maybe 48. There we go. So now I have a nice shading there. There we go. Just like coloring around. So it looks a little bit more natural, right? I can darken around her neck as well. I can make my brush size bigger. And I have the kind of the soft round picked, right? Not the one with the hard edges. There we go. That looks a lot better, right? I can even go even more transparent and kind of give her a little bit more shadow here and there. And there we have it. So after you're done with this, please save it. File, save as, and then say hoodie girl and JPEG. Okay, and I would like you to, you know, please submit this as your activity.